Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have Leco67 at binary. So give two binary string A and B, return the sum as a dot binary string. So now we have A and B here, 11 plus one, when one plus one is equal to zero, and we have additional one added to the second digit, and then you have two added to another digit, so we come up one, zero, zero. So in here, the same. Uh, so we add up, so it's a binary number when they add it. So this is a binary number that output. So to solve this solution, we have a carry. When we add up more than one, then have a carry and carry on for next digit. That's how we uh, start the solution. And let's take a look at the code now. Uh, we have string builder. Uh, output go to a new string builder. So after this, we have a carry equal to zero. Now we can make a link starting from the end of the string called a link equal to a dot link minus one. B link minus one. And then we'll have a while loop. So while they are not A link bigger or equal to zero, or B link bigger or equal to zero, or let me see, carry equal um one, then we need to keep looping. Now we check if a link bigger or equal to one, make it bigger than or equal to zero. <laughs> Sorry. And then at that case, we put that last digit to carry, which is plus or equal. So it's a dot character at a link minus oh come on zero so now the character in here minus zero will be the integer which is the number at that uh, location we add that to carry so carry have that number after that we minus length by one a link by one so now the carry have the a link in there, a link digit in there. So now we have the digit in B link. So B link bigger or equal to zero, then we have to get that number. B dot character at B link minus zero. Same as that, B link minus minus. Now we have both number put it to the carry. So what do we do to the string builder? String builder we have insert, insert at the first location at the beginning that what we need to add is carry divided by actually carry mod two. So carry mod two will be the digit remain after divided by two. So carry, if they're bigger than or equal than two, then carry will be one. So now you can see if carry is two, so carry will remain two. If carry is equal to three, then carry also become, I mean, carry become one because one is for next digit. So now you have a carry right here. So after the carry, then this is while loop. While loop is done. The last time you have this output built up and you can just return this output and make it to a string for the output. And that should be it. Yeah, that's it.
Cool, and this solved the problem. So if you still have more questions, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.